over there? Sup, girl? This music. Sup. Dude. Oh, it's like a sweet lullaby. Oh, don't fall asleep. You're back early today. Did you find something new? Sort of. We're mostly sure now that we're not in a time loop. And we also aren't in the real world. But at the same time, we have a new question. What will happen if we try to leave the city? Have we ever tried leaving the city? Hmm, leaving the city. As far as I remember, you've mentioned your plans to do that twice before. Well, flat. what? We did? But we don't remember anything. What happened after we talked about those plans? What did we say when we got back? Uh, we probably just were like confused. Or we, we were we factor reset after that. Oh, flip. Uh, let me think. I don't think you ever actually told me what the outcome was. Oh, it's probably more accurate to say that both times you never came back the whole night. Hmm. But you two sometimes stay out the entire night anyway, so at the time, I didn't think too much about it. It is true that sometimes we lose track of time during our investigations. Before we know it, it'll already be the next day. But still, <coughs> neither of us remember anything about leaving town. Really? That's kind of strange. In theory, I should have already awakened all your memories. Maybe this is the key. Maybe. Let's try again tomorrow. I'm going to say this. maybe this is the key. Yep. Something here is definitely fishy. Let's get to the bottom of this tomorrow. What in the world? A flip. Here we go again. Our memories are back. They are. Hi. <laughs> Let's go and try to leave the city today. Uh, about that. Well, where should Paimon begin? Wait. What do you mean? What do you mean? We already tried Paimon. Aside from your memories that were just restored, I have another message for you. Another message? From whom? Listen to it and you'll Whoa. understand. Wait. Why is why did everything get really gold? What? Can't the? Go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. Wait, what? This is my own voice! Traveler, you should be missing two days worth of memories. Paimon will fill you in. How the flip? Did we lose two days? What? So I'm assuming Paimon stayed behind and we went out. <laughs> two days ago. It's time to carry out our plan from yesterday. Let's go and try to leave the city today. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, oh, oh nice oh, grain, bro. Oh, oh I love <laughs> the grainy effect. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What? I want to talk to her. Oh. We don't have many more festivals to Oh, wait. okay, same thing. Oh, okay, that's the, yeah, it's the same thing. Zoom, brother, zoom! I, I will. Speed! As soon as Speed. I flat Fomino, land. Fomino. Oh. oh, we got uh, rid of the grain effect. Shit. Here, here we go. Why can't we leave the city? What is the academia up to now? Just scale the wall. It's right, you can, okay. <laughs> Don't ask me, it's not like I can tell you anything. This is a direct order from the Grand Sage. Just wait until tomorrow. Huh. Oof. I have a real emergency. The dog. My goods have already arrived at Port Ormos. If I don't hurry, they'll be stolen. That That's poor guy looks problem. so tired. Make sure you make a request in advance next time. Don't, oh, don't love the city, you jerk. But, but it's not like you can just predict business matters in advance. <laughs> poor guy. Hi. A gut punch. Yeah, just punch him in it the gut. It looks like the academia already announced the lockdown for Sumeru City today. How completely unsurprising. Just scale the wall. Let's gut punch. Let's question them. Or scale oh, the wall. Man. Why can't we leave the city today? Okay. Here we go again. Oh, hi. Don't ask me. I don't know either. Okay, so while she's exploring the blanket, we'll get done with this recording session. We just received an order that no one is allowed to enter or exit Sumeru today. They didn't tell us anything else. Wait, the entire country? Of course, the Academia wouldn't share their plans with a well, pawn. The pawn? So the Academia doesn't trust you at all. Probably this, because we're not dissing him too harshly. <laughs> Angering me won't get you anywhere. I mean, I, I didn't say anything kind of too harsh. Info, I would have left this stupid post long ago. He's got a point. It looks like 
like he really doesn't know. Well, I mean, that that wall is like as tall as us. Grab we, scale over. We can jump. jump. If we can't get anything out of him, let's take matters into our own hands. Why don't we climb over the walls? Those guards can't be everywhere at once. It's literally like a two foot wall. I think we could easily do that. This is a good spot. Maybe and three feet. Hasn't noticed us at all. Let's hurry. Paimon, stay here. Hey, I was right. Huh? Nice. Why? Are you going to leave Paimon behind? Leaving the city might trigger disruptions to our memories. We need someone to stay and witness events from this side. That's actually a good point. Mm -hmm. But what if things get really weird out there and you get into some trouble? Then Paimon won't be able to help you. But it'll be okay. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, bye, man. If we leave together, it'll just be the same as before. Mm. Here you go, here you go. It's okay, bye, man. You'll be fine. We'll be back. Okay. We won't die. Oh, <laughs> Hopefully, Lord willing. I mean, it's been two days later. And we're Promise, Paimon, that you'll come back as soon as possible. Just a quick look. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Please. Bang. Be careful. Uh, when are we not? Uh, <laughs> vaporized. <laughs> Uh-huh. When are we not careful? Looks at all the times in the past that we've died. Memories. Memories. Let's go and try to leave the city today. Oh, <laughs> poor Paimon. What's wrong, Paimon? Hmm. What? Why I waited for you for hours and hours at the city wall and you never came back? You promised Paimon that you were only taking a quick walk. What, what, what did I promise? Paimon, calm down. He's here now. I don't think he understood what you were saying. That girl in the background, Dunyazard, is just looking very bad. I'm, I'm, although I don't remember doing any of this, still, sorry, Paimon. It's the same sentence. I won't leave you behind. <gasps> okay. Paimon will forgive you. The most important thing is that you didn't actually she just, disappear. She tried climbing up a little blanket. Oh, oh. Paimon was so scared that you had gone into another world. Okay, Paimon. Can you tell us your perspective of what really happened yesterday? What, did we just get Thanos snapped? Just... I don't know. I see. Using two people's different perspectives. Huh, uh, what? After that, you left the city. Paimon kept her eyes on you the whole time, but then you... disappeared in an instant. Huh? You sure that's what you saw? You weren't zoning out or anything? What the freak happened? We just poofed. Oof. Poof. What the? Uh, <coughs> <laughs> are you okay? Paimon was watching you with the fullest attention. Uh, got it. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to, you know, assume. What's your perspective, Traveler? You sure you don't have any memory of this? Yes. I didn't. I don't even know that yesterday existed. I That's guess severe. That explains everything. You also lost your memories the last two times you tried to leave the city. Those days memories can't be awoken. Um awoken. So <laughs> we have been awoken. If we leave the city, our memories will be completely erased. So they didn't just restrict access to Sumeru City. They're also erasing the memories of those who leave. Wow. I don't know how they're doing that, but what? geez. Yeah! But this way, we'll also never discover what's outside! If our memories will be erased, can we leave something behind? Something other than memories? Good point. Oh, the message. Something like a message? Aha! But how can we send it back? 
don't look at me like that. I'm, I'm not used to being stared at. Oh. Well. Stared. Uh, okay, okay. You want something that can pass on messages, right? Give me some time and take care of Dunyarzad for me. Yep, now we're talking. Hence the message that we leave behind. Gotcha. Okay. 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 Better hurry or the night's gonna end. Okay. Ten, ten. Here you go. What? Isn't this just an Akasha terminal? I'm guessing there's more to it. You need some little changes. Akasha terminals are already capable of sending messages. I just tweaked it so that it could connect to any node. Oh, that's useful. Okay, that's pretty sick. To make something like this? Nahida. You really know the Akasha like the back of your hand. Anyway, we can use this now to record a message, right? I'm guessing yes. this is how we do it. I'll help you save the oh, messages. Probably. It should be pretty easy to use. I just can't guarantee the user's status and signal coverage when they're outside the city. Static and signal coverage? Wait, what? It's like a freaking, like, it's like a, a freaking, um... Uh, not AirPod, because that's just headphones. It's like just those old cell phones that people would stick in their ears that like you'd always see like people that were like businessmen I mean, that were like traveling. An earpiece. An earpiece. Is that really what they were just called? Just earpieces? Mm -hmm. That's always just what I've known them as. Are they still a thing, by the way? I feel like that kind of has disappeared in later years like in the later years. When I was young, anyone who was like a traveling businessman or woman like would have one. I mean it's also just the aesthetic. Did people just oh, think it was no, cool? She approaches. Hi, Kim. We'll never know until we try. At least we're taking the initiative now. It's worth a try. Let's go then. Let's expose those sages. I still think you should stay. Uh, all right. Paimon isn't as worried about being separated since it happened once yesterday. But Paimon still isn't happy about it. See you tomorrow, Paimon. See you tomorrow. Okay. And now, that's so, far. so that, that message. message was what I left for myself when I left the city. Yes, although the signal was choppy and had some interference, we still managed to receive two messages from you when you were outside. Okay, now that you understand what's going on, let's hear the messages together. What? Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. Okay, so what's the others? I've entered another space. Before me are flowing sandstone and howling fish. Impossible and surreal sights. What? All these spaces are empty except for the occasional ones that contain mute puppets rather than people. I can't sense any human presence. That sounds disconcerting, at the very least. Do you want to grab her milk real quick? That's one heck of an info dump! Oh, it sounds like that. you left the Sumeru city space when you set foot outside of the walls! But everything looked completely normal when Paimon was looking out from the inside! That's unbelievable. And if we take your word for it, the other spaces all had very weird contents. There's another part here. We only received it last night. These spaces have been disappearing one after the other, absorbed by something like a sun in the sky. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. Sounds terrifying. And now, even the final space has also disappeared. Oh, our earpieces are green. No, they always are green. It's like a darker shade. It seems to be a darker shade of green, honestly. Behind me, a lot of spaces just appeared again from thin air. I get it now. Those spaces are actually... No! Wait. Uh, uh, why did the message end right there? What did the traveler 
ever want to say? What are those spaces? Probably because yesterday just happened to end at that moment. Oh, flip. Oh, right. Well, that's great. Paimon did hear a beep from the Akasha. Did it come from here or from the message? The message? It should have come from the Traveler's Akasha Terminal. After the beep, Traveler said even the final space has also disappeared. <sighs> Traveler, what do you think that final space could have been? Space the final frontier. Space is without a human presence. Space... Ah, oh, whatever. We'll just read them all. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. A real world. Was that space actually the real world? But wouldn't a real space just randomly disappearing like that be catastrophic? Yeah, you'd think. My impression is that each day in this samsara only ends at the sound of that beep from the Akasha. So, so this one? Either that one or the real world, I'm guessing. Except the real world would have been pretty Pro bad. Probably that one. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, so that's what it is. After the sound of the beep, the final space, the Subzero's so Festival, also disappears. And we're taken to the next day. Hmm. Later on, Traveler also mentioned a bunch of new spaces materializing behind them. Do lots of new spaces appear every day? I guess. Maybe. Paimon's head is spinning. Just what are these spaces anyhow? That is a great question. I, I don't know that answer. Mm -hmm. Well, consider this. For all the horrors of the Archon War, at its heart, it was just a game where a bunch of gods fought over seven seats. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's the brutal way to put it, which is honestly Why the truth. Why was there even a war in the first place? Why did there have to be only seven? They've told us a bit about it, but ultimately it was just like, the gods just didn't get along, kind of. I mean, some mm. of them didn't want to fight, but a lot of them did, so. So no matter how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, maybe all they point to in the end is a small and simple secret. It's kind of like basically imagine a world where everyone's just uber powerful and everyone has the power to rule the world, but then everyone else also has equal amounts of power, but different. So what not happens? Everyone. Everyone. Yeah, not everyone has the equal amounts of power, but a lot of you have like world destroying powers. I guess technically, yeah, maybe you would have a battle royale of sorts. Sounds freaking dark. And BR. Gloomy. Only seven people can live. Jeez. Wow. The Archon War, huh? That's an analogy and a half. A secret, huh? So hungry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're hungry. Give me some time. I need to organize my thoughts. Hey! Where are you going? So I can only assume that our sister and we ourselves probably witnessed something. So nope, when we came here now. a long time ago. Oh, wait, we're going... Time to punch that organizer in the face. Not organizer, the old guy. No, it's not the old guy. Unless, no, we're not going to Nilo. Nilo? Yeah, Nilo, right? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Hey, going through doors are, is hard, guys. Don't judge us. You wanna know oh, what the flip? What just happened? You just hit like an invisible wall, it looked like. Is that what happened? <laughs> Looks like it. That was weird. You're kind of falling, kid. Do you want some alone Ten. time to think? <sighs> All right, then. Pima won't disturb you. It's a lot of time. It's a whole lot of thinking. We spent the entire day thinking. The dance of Subzeros is about to begin. I'm going to go watch it. Oh, girl, please sit down and sleep. The dance of sub Zero is... Is it that time already? Okay. Um, why don't you go ahead, Dunyarzad? We still have some other stuff to do first. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Jeez. You sound so bad, girl. Oh, Flip. Have you figured it out yet, Traveler? Time is ticking away. I think I know the answer now. You can tell us both together. This time, we're gonna get to the truth. Oh. Just 
such a good little kitty. She is. Um, okay, so we need to go talk to the Dendro Archon, and then... This should be the end of the Sansara. S Sansara, however you say it. Wait, I'm confusing the words. There's like, I'm combining two things, I think. What, the Sansara? There's the, there's the festival, which is like the Sansara, or however you say it. And then there's the... Sansara. The, the sub, sum, something. The timey-wimey thing. <laughs> that We're thing. Back. I've been waiting forever for you two. Judging by the looks on your faces... We have found the answer. What the flip do we do about it? Exam and graduate from the festival? Ask away, Miss... Nahida. Na Nahida. Nahida, yes. <laughs> okay. First off, have you discovered the hidden truth? Of course I have. Uh oh. Okay. Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Got it. I mm. <gasps> hope they use this mechanic uh, during Fontaine when we're like finding out clues and solving mysteries. I mean, we don't know if we'll be doing that, but I sure hope we will do that because that sounds awesome. I just want a Sherlock Holmes character, okay? Yeah, that would be great. We've experienced the Subzerus Festival many times, and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. Mm hmm. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside oh. the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. Dreams with no human presence. Okay. And those spaces remind me of... Dreams. Like the one I had in the Avidia Forest. Except these have no sign of human presence. Okay, so that little, like, thought dream thing with the giant plant. So... They're almost like dream bubbles, like the little spaces are basically of, like almost imagine them as like someone's dream, I guess. I guess, but no one's in them. But no one's the in there. Moon, illusions and lies. What did they all mean? People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Probably combine that one with the dreams with no human presence. So people just aren't in their dreams. That's weird. The truth behind dreams! We're all in a dream. It isn't that the people of Sumeru don't dream. Rather, the Akasha is taking their dreams from them. That's yep. freaking weird. Oh! People in Sumeru think they don't dream. But the truth is, the Akasha steals their dreams without them knowing it! Okay, yeah, hey, we guessed this a long time ago, I want to point out. Mm -hmm. And those spaces with no human presence are stolen dreams without their host. That would explain why they sounded so weird when he was trying to describe them. Oof. Huh. So people in Sumeru do dream after all. In fact, we're all in one big dream together right now! Correct huh. answer. Now, how did you conclude that the Akasha is capable of this? You couldn't just tell us that? That's not that complicated. <laughs> that wasn't going to make my brain literally explode. And even if it did, I just would have come back the next day. But we did learn a lot, admittedly. Uh, why is it capable of this? I'm guessing it's tapped into her power, which is probably why? what we have The Akasha used. relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate. Okay. It is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. Got it. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. Cool. And it grants knowledge to the people. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, the Akasha is the... It's either that one or the Gnosis, right? We'll just go with the Gnosis since it sounds like that uh, answer. It doesn't sound right. No, okay, fine, fine, fine. Uh, Kit? Ken? <laughs> what was that? What was that, you little stinky baby? I don't know. Here, do you want to? Here, do, do you want more milk? Is that? What, I think she's looking for more milk. We had to let her tummy settle. Now we want more. Okay, uh, I'm gonna submit the Akasha is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. Maybe this I one. Guess. Oh, there okay. we go. Those dream controlling creatures in the forest also get their power from the Dendro Archon, right? That would explain why the Akasha has the ability to control people's dreams, too. Yep. 
That'd do it. That does make sense. Oh, interesting. But is stealing everyone's dreams really how the Akasha compiles their wisdom? Isn't there anything more to it than that? Maybe not. Dreams are fantastical, complex, and full of imagination. People's brains are the most active when they're dreaming. That's about right. In other words, dreams are rich bundles of human wisdom. Dreams are really cool. So, in other words, the complete opposite of how Hypatia understood it. Hyman remembers Sounds you like saying it. that the sages think dreams are foolish delusions. And the fact that no one dreams is a blessing from greater Lord Ruka Devada. Hmm. So it was all a dirty trick? Basically. Sounds like it. The real story is that the sages from the academia are using the Akasha to steal people's dreams for their own use, huh? That's pretty messed up, yes. actually. They don't intend to stop there. Oh? By the sounds of it, you understand the current situation pretty well. So then, <laughs> what about the samsara? Samsara, that's the thing. Okay, the Akasha sound. The beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night, even though we removed our Akasha terminals. Because we're in a dream, I should have thought about that. Yep. So, so even if we remove them in here, that doesn't stop them from being actually removed from us. We're what? Are we just all like in a bed or something? The dream you can't wake up from. That's terrifying. That's is terrifying. Those spaces kept disappearing before my eyes. But as soon as that beep sounded, many more spaces materialized. Those dreamscapes kept vanishing. But as soon as that beep sounded, more new spaces appeared. Wait, wait, wait. So wait. So the the dreams appear but then they disappear because they're being you know, they're being taken away. So why are more dreams appearing at the very beginning of the Grand Sage the, uh, of the beep? So how does yeah, how does that work? The Grand Sage said, I guess cuz it's starting a new round of dreams. The birth of that god to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? I don't freaking know. My mind feels exhausted. Even though I haven't done too much thinking. Oh, Actually, we just did a whole on. day's worth of thinking, Traveler. What are you talking about? We've already experienced the Subzerus Festival many times, and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. So... So combine that with the... Sound? Abnormal mental fatigue? Or the abnormal mental fatigue. Well, time to find out. So associate this with this? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. No, okay. I'm gonna do the sound. Hmm. Is it really just gonna be the other appearance? Or the Grand Sage's speech? Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna click this. Hmm. Are you kidding me? Is it the festival? <sighs> okay, I see how it is. Oh, wait, we just have to submit conclusion now. Well, the mass production of dreams is new. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why can I? I can't click I it. I guess just submit it. Submit it. Okay, cool. Correct. The Akasha is keeping each person's brain in a constant dream state, but also separating their consciousness from their own dream. Sounds quite unhealthy. Whoa, okay, yeah, that sounds deep. Their disembodied consciousness is placed inside the collective dream of the Subzerus Festival along with everyone else's. While their now vacant dreams are harvested by the Akasha. Hmm, that sounds quite unethical. And probably breaking a few laws. Probably, yeah, most likely. No one is any the wiser as another day passes in the dream. And so begins another samsara cycle. Okay. So we can punch that old man in the face with zero consequences. Maybe. People wake Maybe. up to yet another dream about the Subzerus Festival. The dreams that belong to them are once again harvested by the Akasha. And so it continues. So, this is like a dream factory. And the Akasha is a dream harvesting machine. Did Paimon get that analogy right? Yeah, actually, that could work. <laughs> Very good, Paimon. Using analogies well is an excellent habit to get into. It actually will help you when it comes to teaching anyone Especially when anything. you're dealing with it, a bunch of obnoxious snobs. Okay, so that beep we keep hearing is actually...
actually from our real life Akasha terminals. Taking off our terminals in this stream doesn't do anything. Okay. All right, last question. Who am I? You're the Dendro Archon. It's shocking, I know, but we kind of knew this. The moon, illusions, illusions or lies. lies. I mean, you're all of these. I'm going to interpret this one first. They say that alchemical divination is the Dendro Archon's divine revelation. So then, if Nahida has referred to herself as the moon... I mean, that's the submit conclusion, but we'll go with these two. Let's see what it has now to say. Now that I think about it, wasn't illusions a hint that we're all dreaming? Now that I think about it, wasn't illusions hinting at the sage's deception of Sumeru's people? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Same thing, basically, twice. <laughs> so you noticed. You are Lesser Lord Kusanali! Uh, I thought that one would be the hardest question. That's why I put it last. This is a game to you, isn't it? Basically. I mean, Someone's dying! Eh, it's fine. Look how cute this cat is. It wasn't hard at all. Even Paimon guessed that. Everything about you is different. We just didn't want to expose you as all. Yeah, no, I agree with Paimon. Now that you mention it, Nahida, you've been hinting to us since the very beginning. It's funny. Thinking back to when we were asking all over the place for info about Lesser Lord Kusanali, Paimon didn't expect to meet you like this. I have a lot of questions uh, for you. This doesn't seem like a good time. Right. Yes, those can wait until we're back in real life. Yeah. On the other hand, I'd be happy to answer any more questions you have about here and now. Uh, why couldn't you simply tell us the truth? Or how do the sages manage to keep people oh, from well, noticing this? <laughs> these are all the questions. Oh, so do I just go to bottom. top to bottom? Okay, why couldn't you simply tell us the truth? You asked me this question before. My answer was, it would literally blow your mind. It literally would not have. Now that you know this is all a dream, this answer should hopefully make more sense. If 50-50, maybe some people would freak out. Have I wouldn't, you heard the saying, personally. don't wake a sleepwalker? Likewise, if someone suddenly had told you all this instead of you learning it on your own, your notion of reality and dream would be thrown into irreversible confusion. I couldn't expose you to that kind of risk. You know, I could totally see a human dealing with that, though. <coughs> I could totally see that being real. That's why I could only give you very subtle hints and some suggestions. Long story short, I'm really sorry I had to keep you guessing. Well, thank you for saying sorry. That's really nice. You're one of the first people to apologize to us. <laughs> uh, why can you tell us the truth? We already just asked that. Why yeah. is that still there? Uh, it just is. Okay. Uh, how do the sages manage to keep people from noticing this? Firstly, the streamer in is completely based on reality. People have already experienced the sub Festival, so it would be very difficult for them to find anything that strikes them as surreal. Secondly, you're probably wondering why people don't have any memories from earlier samsara, right? Yeah. That's because people don't remember their dreams most of the time anyway. And in any case, their actual dreams are being taken away from them by the Akasha. So whenever they wake up in this dream of the sub Festival, they don't remember anything from their previous identical dream. This is really cool how it's playing off the fact of like sometimes when you dream you don't remember or you have like only faint hints of what you dreamed about. It happens a lot of times when you dream. I remember I was running, jumping, climbing. Yeah. Like if you ever dream that you've like eaten a bunch of food and you kind of wake up and you're like, man, that was some really good food I had Dang, in that dream. I'm hungry in it. It's like, and now I'm starving because you bre it's breakfast time. Yeah. That reminds me of lunch. <laughs> or lunch. had a dream when we were in the Avidia Forest but couldn't see what it was about after waking up. Is that an example of what you mean? Yes. Only after receiving the blessing of Dendro can a person gain the Dendro element's dream-enhancing power. That explains the feelings of deja vu. Okay. Meanwhile, everyone else has no oh, idea that they it. are in the <laughs> sub <-Zeru's> Festival Festival's <laughs> while their dreams are stolen from them over and over again. She's hugging me. That's cute. Hey, good girl.
Um, about the side effects of a mass-produced dream. Can humans really keep dreaming forever like this? Will it ever end? And if so, when? Oh, yeah. You might say your mental fatigue has already answered this question. Eventually, there's only so much that people can tolerate. Sure is. Especially those whose health is compromised to begin with. Like Dunyar's odd. Flip, yeah. This relentless exploitation takes an even harder toll on them. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah, that's rough. People's lives are at stake here, and nobody knows a thing! We've gotta put a stop to this! Uh, how do we leave this dream? It's a great question. We can't exactly leave the place. Yeah. And why is the dream about the Subzerus festival? I know, right? Why did they have to base this dream on my birthday? <laughs> Could it really just be a coincidence? That's just kind of mean. That is kind of just freaking mean. Even you don't know the reason? Or is it because it's wow. a festival that's usually strange. so dreamlike an atmosphere? Maybe, maybe that's the reason. The Academia Sages are determined to harvest lots of dreams in a short time, no matter the cost. They have to be up to no good. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about it. Okay, uh, dang, so there is some things that she doesn't know. That's worrying. I mean, her realm is the realm of dreams, not awakeness. Oh, well, awakeness! Traveler, do you have any information? Uh. Um, dreams with no human presence? Okay, we have that. The Grand Sages. Those faces remind me of... dreams. Like the one I had in the Avidia Forest. Except these have no sign of human presence. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the. Okay, power. we've already heard that in Grand Sage's Grand speech. Sage said, Can't "Go this. celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content." Did he mean? It's gotta be more? that one. Submit. A sweet. Celebrate the birth of that god. Could it mean? Yes. Oh. Hi, kitty. Um, I don't have any more questions. That's it. Uh, that, is that, that's way, is it. that what I'm supposed to click? I think that's, that's, all that's left. Got it. Deceiving the people of Samaru with no regard for their safety. No matter what they're trying to do, this is unforgivable. After we end the Subzerus Festival, Samsara, we have to look into them. Uh, obviously. Like, into How them? Can the or of like, the academia do this behind their them. archons? In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is long gone. Aw, don't say that. The, you're still the Archon! For like 400 years! A sun and a moon? <sighs> Nahida's talking in riddles again. I mean, it's Rika Devata. I mean, we're, come on, Paimon. Oh, flap! Uh, oh, we're out of time today! I'll tell you how to break free of the Samsara tomorrow. See you then. Let's okay. hope we don't get fully reset. That would be really bad. Hello! Oh, hi. The girl's Good gone. Morning, Nahida. Uh, wait. Now that Paimon remembers everything, should we instead say good morning, Lesser Lord Kusanali? Ah! I'm not okay right now. <sighs> What's wrong, Nahida? You don't look too good. Where's Dunya Zard? She, she couldn't, couldn't have. have! I'm afraid that what you're thinking right now is correct. Whoa! Oh, well, well, she's dead! Great! Ah! Did Dunya Zard already disappear? No way! Are... Are we too late? That's why the freaking ghost in that one cinematic animated movie, there's like, there's a girl standing by us for one second and then she vanishes. In the animated trailer for the 3.0 patch, during the dance cinematic, there is a girl in purple standing by us for one second that disappears. I oh. was hoping it wasn't going to happen, but I was freaking scared, and now it's happened, and I'm thoroughly depressed. Thanks, Mihoyo. Good thing. The Good. real Dunyari Zod's consciousness has indeed disappeared. It can no longer endure the constant dream harvesting. Time to burn down a city. 
bum, bum, bum. That is so freaking tear jerking, honestly. So wait, is she well, still? She's still the... in. Kitty. So she's still gonna be here though. So All what right. I can only assume is the dance is gonna happen. She's gonna disappear after it. I mean, well, this we're gonna have to find out. Oh, we were so close. We were so close. Raymond can't believe it. Wait. So what about that other Dunyarzad? Just what is she? Is she also going to disappear? I feel bad for the bodyguard. Flap. I feel She's bad for the parents. something like a puppet, but not completely. Oh my gosh! The real Dunyarzad's consciousness could no longer keep playing her role in this dream. So another Dunyarzad appeared to replace her in the dream. <sighs> Just like the grass and the trees, that Dunyarzad is just a building block of the dream that helps to keep it going. <sighs> but personality-wise, she's nothing like the real Dunyarzad. Puppets are stiff and can't copy a living person's vitality. After all, they're just their filler. And you know, speaking of which, the old Dunyarzad might not have been too different from a puppet. Okay, whoa. Dunyarzad truly believed that she met you within her consciousness. And it was you who inspired her. So you do remember her after all. Yes. Back then, her family was overly protective of her. No one cared about her personality or thoughts. It was as if she only lived to stall her Elazar. I just gave her a little wisdom so she could look at life in a new way. So that she could be her own person. But even so, she still... It still meant a lot to her. Mm. You are a kind Archon. Ah, probably the first one. First one, definitely. Far from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. I couldn't even save her. If I were a competent Archon, I wouldn't have let my most faithful follower die at the Subzeris Festival with so many regrets. Oof. Please don't beat yourself up over it, Nahida. It's the sage's fault, and theirs alone. I. Yup. I'm beating <sighs> myself up. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and a real Archon. Don't be like that, Nahida. Even real Archons are still allowed to be sad. Dang, man. To prevent more tragedies like this, we must end the samsara as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Great, but how do we do that? Although the Subzerus Festival dream is under the Akasha's control, only humans can dream. Even the Akasha is unable to create them. Hence why it needs humans. That means this dream belongs to a host who created it. So, punch huh? the old guy in so, the face? How should we maybe, find that maybe. Person? Well, if this is someone's dream, then everything here must come from deep within their consciousness. What? Punching all that. means, with the power face, of imagination, fist, they can change anything in this dream. Imagination? What do you mean by that? Imagination means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Like when a server at a tavern brings a plate to you, you'd naturally assume that food is on it. Probably, yeah. However, <laughs> if you're the dream's wasn't. host and you become aware I of I ate it dreaming, on the way over. When you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in kind, and the server really will bring you gold and more. But right now, our host is unaware that this is a dream. No matter how many times they're served, it will always be food. So we find the host, and then what? Find some way to make that person realize that they're dreaming. Usually, once that happens, the person will wake up and the dream samsara will be broken. Right. How are we going to find them, though? If it could be anyone, it'd be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Actually, yes. And even if we did find them, how are we supposed to make them realize they're dreaming? After all, like you said, don't wake a sleepwalker. It's extremely difficult, yes. But the only ones who can do it are you two. Remember, 
Everything you've achieved up to this point has Can all been you. through the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. So I'll punch whoever it is very hard in the face. Uh, no, so? I uh, no, I just bring make them aware. This time I'll be out of town. Oh. Oh. Out of town? Are you going to that place full of dreams where the traveler went? Yes. I want to try something. There must still be a small wisp of possibility. Hence why she's going to be gone during 3.1. She's going to be doing stuff. Okay. Nari and Go. Dreams are supposed to be fantastical, romantic, and full of pleasant surprises. Unnecessary things like this samsara need to end. Oh, that's your birthday, girl. Happy birthday. Oh, I'm still a little upset that we've come this far only for Dinyar's odd to... Yeah, that does suck. She was such a good person, with such a simple wish, but fate was against her. I just feel so demoralized. I do too. But uh, there's yeah. a little baby in my hand. Saving Dunyarzad is what kept us going this whole time. But we mustn't lose hope, Traveler. Dunyarzad would definitely want to see us save everyone else. So let's break the Samsara for her sake. Ah! No nibbling arms. Paimon's <laughs> wondering, do you think the sages would get one of their own to be the host of this dream? Feels like it would be easier to control it that way, no? It's gotta be the dancer, Unlikely. or Dunyarzard, or Dunyarzard like... Dunyarzard is dead years old. Te okay, now. technically though, couldn't she still be the host? No, Te then the dream would end. It's gotta be the dancer then. Probably. Nila, okay. Unlikely. Knowing the plan, they'd probably become aware that they were dreaming. An unsuspecting host would be less likely to realize this is a dream. Uh, yep, probably that one, right? Huh, that's true. Plus, the sages probably weren't counting on there being other factors beyond their control, like Nahida and us. Or Nilo. So, or Nilo, what do you think whatever the host it is. of the dream is? It's one of those two. Maybe Ferris, the Knight of Flowers? No, the one with the strange getup? Oh. I guess... I guess Ferris, the Knight of Flowers. Maybe! Oh, that would make sense! Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is a symbol of the wholesome Zerus Festival, right? Pretty core character. Let's go ask him some questions, shall we? Would it be him? Mm hmm. I don't think... It's probably not gonna be him. It's probably gonna be the dancer, and to break free, she will have to... Dance. Or something. I want to break free. <laughs> I want to. That would be so freaking weird if that was actually it. Okay. Wait. I can't. There we go. I couldn't run for some reason. I, I literally. Cool down, oh. Down. For some reason, in my head, that was my sprint. Sup. Hey, don't laugh at me. I heard that. I heard that. Heard what? Heard what? Uh. Hmm. You're back. You left in a hurry last time. I is everything okay? It's far. Everything's Damn, fine. it's okay. Just, it's okay, um, man. It's a little hard to explain. Uh, would you mind taking part in a little experiment with us? An experiment? That came out of nowhere. I'm listening, though. What do you need me to do? Could you make a wish? Imagine. Imagine. Your wish coming true before your very eyes. You want me to make a wish? Is that a new sub Zerus festival tradition or something? Oh, Less questions, more wishing! Okay. Okay. Wish! Okay. Or okay. perish! The kitty! Oh, I'm sorry. My wish. My wish. Um, okay. I'm a little nervous saying this out loud, but I want Miss Dunyarzad to be happy. Pain. Pain. Just pain. Maybe a, uh, maybe, maybe a, maybe a, maybe, um, uh, um, uh, um, maybe a different one. That one can't exactly, uh, ha, ha, happen anymore. Okay. Look at the tiny dancing kitty. Yeah, I see the tiny dancing kitty. Come on, Paul, let's go. There you go. Oh. I noticed earlier that she looked a bit down, and she wasn't really talking to anyone. Ugh! 
Yeah, she's she just doesn't seem like herself. She's always so gentle and kind, and all the kids love her. Oh. I've also wondered if the reason she asked me to be Ferris Knight of Flowers is because I'm special to her, or something. <sighs> Dang. So, you have a crush on Dunyarzad? Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, is it that obvious? After what I just said, I guess it is. Well... When she placed the hat of the Knight of Flowers onto my head, she said to me, I want everyone to have a happy oh. Sub-Zeru's festival. What she didn't realize was that I'm not that interested in how everyone else feels. In that moment, I just wanted to be her Knight of Flowers for the rest of my life. Fifty years? A hundred years? I'll serve her till the end of time. Okay, yeah, that was a bit much. Felt like the right moment to get it off my chest, but thanks. I'm so glad you told me that. That makes me feel great. Okay, I'm ready to make my wish. I would like Miss Dunyarzad to appear in front of me right now with a smile on her face. Here goes. Please come true. Please come true. D seriously, come true already. Yeah, it's gonna be Nilo. Gonna open my eyes. Oh. Uh. Oh. You're. What? Fucky. Uh, sorry, but only one portion of Yelda candies per person. Back home you go. <laughs> <sighs> uh, nice try, you two. Anyway, never mind. I don't need to see her appear right in front of me. As long as she's happy. Ah. <laughs> Why do you have to be such a nice dude? Can someone just choke this guy out, please? What do you mean? I don't wanna, I don't wanna look at him right now. What? Well, guess he isn't the host of this dream after all. Should have expected it wouldn't be this easy. Yeah, it's never that easy. Never is. It seems like everyone who knows Dunyarzad loves her. But none of them has any idea that she- oh, I got you. Flap. My lady, step back. Oh, here we go. Ambush time. Ah, uh, you're defending a dead like, person. Yeah. Oh, right. This is when Dinyarzad bumps into the kidnappers. I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. Huh? But Dia can handle them. Hey, traveler! Need to blow off some steam. Genuinely. Okay. I'm peeved. And I need thugs to kill. I mean, beat up. You need some of the Mona alt to Zhang Liol. <laughs> Basically. Hey, look, it's the goons. Oh, look okay. at that. It's you. Great timing. Please take. Take Union Zard and leave. Leave, leave these, these guys, guys to me. me. Yeah, this one. Hey, this is my job. The homie Yanni's pay me, not you. You're wasting your breath. Kind of, kind of rude. I'm gonna say leave, but that's still kind of rude. You, ugh, fine. All right, knock yourself out. Why are you so worked up anyway? It's not like I don't trust your fighting skills. Anyway, we have some emotions yourself. to work through. Yeah, you, we need a punching bag, and these sandbags behind me are great. Cause it's fine. Cause even if they, you know, so you got accident. yourself some backup. <laughs> Suit yourself. You're going down. I'm dropping a comment on your guys' face. Ah, you'll live. It's all a dream anyway. Seriously. New oh, wait. I don't have a... Wait. <laughs> Excuse me. Perfect. Beautiful. I will have Sorry about this, guys. Oh, you could have moaned. I could have. But I wanted to do this. I wanted to have a little more fun with my food. Just two more guys, right? Oh, yeah. Look. There you are. Oh, you have a bit of health, actually. Stabilize. About this. Yo, hey there! That was a cool attack. Gotcha. I don't know what you were up to, but that was pretty sick. I right, now calm down. What did what did your mother tell you about playing in trees? Get out of here! What I'm in the tree. What did you say? Did I I had no such thing. I did not put them in the tree. Just taking your anger out on those guys? That would be ridiculous, Paimon. I'm fine. I'm just angry at myself. I'm fine. You and Nahida both. Dunyarzad wouldn't want to see you two like this. I don't know what you're talking about. I am perfectly 
fine Look right at now. this cat. You know I am fine. So cute. Oh, and speaking of her, I just remembered something. Remember how during the first Sub-Zero's festival, before the Samsara started, we came here with Dunyarzad because she wanted to pick something up? She said it was because she had forgotten something. Yes, I do remember that. Ah, uh, yes, I'd forgotten all about that. I do remember that, actually. Okay, so Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she is staying somewhere around here. She pointed it out to us the night before the Sub-Zero's festival. Should we check out what the item is? Oh, it's probably gonna be a present for us, isn't it? I don't know why I just smashed this water bottle into my head. That actually kind of semi-hurt, but you know. And before anyone's like, whoa, Josh, you're weak. No, I mean, it's like the hard tip of the bottle where like, you know, you put your mouth on. I don't know why I literally Crammed that oh. into my head. That actually kind of. I'm not gonna do that to the bottle you drink. That kind of, what the? F How dare you? Yeah, you, you can't touch the lid. The or the what, oh, what no, would you call disgusting. that? Touch the. Damn, we're we're actually brothers. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, we should check out what the item is. Yeah, even if it's only a tiny clue, it'll probably still help us more than this needle in a haystack search. To be a heart wrenching gift. This is the place. It's rude to enter other people's spaces without permission, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Yes. Uh, it, it, there, you also can't hey, ask her. The windows are unlocked. Okay. Uh, Paimon's gonna take a peek inside. L low key, gonna just like climb through a window. Okay. It's not burglarizing if the homeowner is not around. Temporary residence, so there was pretty much nothing inside except this book on the table. Should we open it? Oh, okay. Uh, after almost 16 days, I was finally able to get these notes written before the Sub Zero Festival. Once the festival ends, you and Paimon will probably continue your journey immediately. So I was hoping that I'd be able to give this to you before that. Mm. Oh, Philip, I'm gonna cry by the end of this, aren't I? This is a compilation of folk legends concerning Lesser Lord Kusanali, created from a series of interviews that I conducted in succession and wrote down. I interviewed so many people, that, I, but I'm afraid that there are very few who know much about her. Still, I hope that this will be of use to you in your search for her. Gandharvaville's water supply was once contaminated, forcing everyone to go very far out to get water. But one day, people suddenly found that the water was drinkable again. And some said that a green light was seen near the water source with pre the previous night. Everyone believes that this was the divine power of Lesser Lord Kusanali at work. This sounds quite possible. The documentation of water sources via natural means probably takes ages. Did Lesser Lord Kusanali appear in Gandharvaville then? Gandharvaville. After Mama passed away, I was super afraid of the dark and couldn't sleep. But from... One day on, I would hear a voice that would chat with me till I fell asleep. A nice lady would tell me that Lesser Lord Kusanali must have been watching over me. Poor child, I hope that the sub festival makes him feel a little happier. This is quite similar to something I experienced back then as well. She is indeed a gentle god. There was this one time when I had a wee bit too much to drink and couldn't find my way home to save my life. Then, when I turned the corner, I could have sworn I saw a lesser Lord Kusanali. She was very tall and had the most muscular arms, and she caught me when I slipped and fell. The next morning, I found myself sleeping under a tree. I reckon that must have been her looking out for me. Mm, I'm not sure this one has that much of value as a reference. That was probably just a tree, right? <laughs> Dude, imagine when she actually becomes, whenever she actually comes to the pole, you'll actually, should that be like her true form, like, BOOM! Lesser Lord Kusanali. Muscles! Should the small little girl become super muscular woman? That actually would be amazing if she's like an illusion. What if she like changes? That's her alt. That's her alt. She becomes, BOOM! BOOM! I can't do the pose, but. Oh, kitty. Muscle. But, but yes. These folk records. Appended with Dunyar Zard's references and opinions, leave every page densely packed. Wow. Well, great. 
I'm sad. Sad wrote all of this. Sounds like she was always thinking of us even while we were away. Flipping great. Go even ahead. Though she was also busy preparing for the Subzeru's festival and had all her health problems to worry about. She must have wanted to give this to us as a gift on the day of the Subzeru's festival, right? If we hadn't found this book, we never would have known. But now that we know, we can't even thank her. Dunyazard! <sighs> Flip, I'm actually hey, sad. Where are you off to now? It's gotta be the dancer, right? It has to be. Probably. Uh, let's go talk to us. Do we have to? Do we have to talk to a freaking husk? It's gonna be so sad. It's literally a puppet as they referred to it, but it still sucks. Maybe like a part of her is still in there somewhere, somehow. Oh, flip. Here we go. It's Dunyarzad's puppet. I guess. I'll feel better if I say this out loud. I agree. Do it. Thank you. Traveler? Uh, uh. Ah! You must be exhausted. Come to think of it, we've been stuck in this place for a really, really long time. Heck, even the last time we were chatting happily with Denyarzad feels like an eternity ago. Why? No, don't think back. Don't do it. Don't freaking do it. <sighs> ah. Good job, Genshin. I'm thoroughly depressed. You did your thing. <laughs> Thanks. I'm feeling so great. Paimon still remembers when we were sitting here, and the way her eyes sparkled when she talked about Nilu's dance of Subzeru's. I can barely recall it now. There will always be frustrations in life. But I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. Don't start talking now, puppet. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you freaking dare. I'm gonna cry. That was a great that moment. That's what the real Dunyarzad said, wasn't it? Does that mean... Dunyarzad? Yes, Traveler. What is it? Oh, oh, back to normal. So she's still just a puppet. But just now, how come... Not leaving behind any re regrets. Let's go, Paimon! It's time to slug an old man. This time? We're slugging an old man. It's finally time. To watch the dance of Subzeru. Or Subzeru. Zeus? Something like that. Okay, time for dancing. Old man, out of the way. Time to slug an old man and watch a dance. We don't even freaking care at this point. Literally don't care. It's gotta be the dancer. Oh wait, is it us? No, wait, are we the we, one? No, because yeah, we we're aware. Yeah, we're aware. So it can't be us. You! Out! Die! So, I'm probably not die, but it's wow. out! If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single ba, 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 organizer. Just boom. chop them! Pudra! The Grand Sage has already granted you much leave. Boom! Come on, I just... That you just exercise boom! That. Right in the face. How... How did things turn out like this? Come on, swivel the hips. Boom! Traveler just comes in, knocks him out. Let's go. Do it. Uh, Traveler? Uh, you don't have to get involved. He's a sage from the Academia. I don't want to drag you into this. Boom! Just drop rock. Bam. Plant him. Traveler, what the heck are you doing? If you get arrested by 
by the academia, that's another day gone to waste. Hmm. Wait, what's happening here? Wait, why'd the Grand Sage... What? Wait, they're not reacting. Have they been scared stiff? Just as I thought, they're, they're puppets. puppets! Yeah! Oh, of course! If this is the Sage's plan, they wouldn't put themselves through this. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Huh. So they're just substitutes. What is this? What All the flowers the are the real flowers now. Gosh. Hold on a moment. What's up with those flowers? Yeah, they're not the uh, substitute flowers. They're the real deals. Oh, interesting. <laughs> like I said, they symbolize the goddess of flowers. It's just a shame that all the real body stars went extinct after her death. Because she wanted them here. Got it. Yes. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, she caused her best. She trapped Sarah her best friend in, in memory of the goddess of flowers. Uh, she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful shade of purple. <sighs> Let's not tell her that for now. Uh, that beautiful shade. Of well, purple. she didn't trap. Aren't these flowers real? Not on stars? purpose. Just no, like no. From the legend. I didn't even notice. Ten years odd. Did you find? Yeah, it? no. She didn't trap her friend in her dream. Um, she, uh, the academia are, j are just using her as the host, basically. So it was actually because Dunyazard said it. So basically, her perception was like, oh, I really want those to be here, so they came here. The Rhea, yeah. So she didn't do this. They're just using her as like a conduit. I think. Still trapped in her dream, though. We are trapped in her dream, but yeah, she's got no guilt whatsoever. No. But didn't you just say all the real flowers went extinct after the goddess of flowers passed away? So, Al? Yeah. What's going on here? Close your eyes. Make a wish. <laughs> when you close your eyes. Imagine that the Grand Sage and his entourage are not here in front of you. You guys are acting weird. But okay. Just give it a try. Uh oh. Hey. It worked! Whoosh! And they're gone. They disappeared. So Nilu's the host. What a surprise! Gotcha. Nice. Purple body Saras don't exist in the real world anymore. But in Nilu's subconscious, they can appear as decorations on the stage. Hmm. It's just like the example Nahida told us. People assume there will be food on a plate, and Nilu assumed there would be real Patisaras in the flower pots. Nice. Okay, that's sick. I like this. So when you saw the flowers, you instantly knew it was Nilu? Correct. But if we want to end the samsara, we need the host to become aware that they're dreaming. How should we make Nilu realize that? I mean, she just saw people vanish before her own eyes. And I would start thinking I was dreaming, admittedly, after that, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, just, oh, I wanted this to happen. It happened. Oh, dream. Am I dreaming? There yeah, we go. Yeah, it's not very hard. Yeah, no, that would definitely kick in. Huh? How did you come to that conclusion? I mean, it's kind of hard not to. <laughs> so I'm right. Is this Lesser Lord Kusanali responding to our celebration of the Sabzerus Festival? Not quite, but close. Wrong guess, but you aren't completely wrong either. The point is, what made you think this is a dream? As far as you know, people in Sumeru don't dream, right? Actually, that's a great point. What? Yeah, but have you heard the tale of the first sage? To prevent a calamity, he went on a journey to find the Dendro Archon. Ooh, sounds familiar. Dinyarzad told us a story like that when we first arrived in Sumeru City. So it was about the first sage, huh? Yep, but in the part you heard, he hadn't become the first sage yet. There's more to the story. What? Huh? His piety and wisdom were acknowledged by the Dendro Archon. And she finally gave her blessing to him. I like how I point out she finally. 
All kinds of spectacular scenes appeared in front of the first sage. As if all the knowledge in the world was being painted onto a canvas right before him. He was captivated. Hmm. Okay. After who knows how long, he mastered all the knowledge he could comprehend. Afterward, he said to the Dendro Archon, I miss my parents, my wife, and my children. I've been away from home for far too long. They must be worried. The Dendro Archon smiled. The next second, the sage found himself lying in his bed, as if he had just woken up from a dream. Aww. His wife lying next to him said, You're off to search for the Dendro Archon today, aren't you? Have a safe journey, my love. In the end, the first sage took care of many disasters in Sumeru City and founded the Academia. <sighs> That's sweet. What a happy That's, ending. That is super wholesome. So, the first sage was dreaming ever since the beginning of the story? He never went on his journey? I mean, he did. Sort of, yeah, in the dream he did. And it was, it was, to him it was real. Yes. But his faith and determination were conveyed to the Dendro Archon. So she blessed him in the form of a dream. So, who started making the Akasha then? If it wasn't the first sage? Probably the researchers using the Gnosis. Okay. Paimon understands what Sounds like 400 years ago. Now. That's a really interesting connection. But we really gotta wake up soon, like the sage in the story. Now that Nilo's aware of it, this dream should be over soon. I see. Well, it just so happens that today's Sub Zero's festival is almost over, too. End it with a bit of a dance. Let's do it. Bit of a rhyme, a bit of a trance. Okay. Since we're in a dream, let's make this final dance of sub Zerus as beautiful as we can. That's uh, actually cool. She gets like unlimited powers to do this. That's that's pretty sick. I've been waiting a long time for this. Dance your heart out. Okay. Yeah, cutscene. Okay. <sighs> Dang. You can do a lot once you realize you're in a dream, I tell you. Everyone, I dedicate this to our god, the dance of sub -Zerus. Getting fire emblem flashbacks. Very sick. <laughs> This music! What in the world? Is that a dream coming to an end? I don't know! <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilo's dance. Aww. Yeah, okay. Freaking poor traveler, man. He has to go through so much. Aw. Dang, man. kind of happy a bit I liked it a lot but man it hurts dude can me up. she's like dude I'm sleeping oh I uh, don't tell me we don't remember oh come on my mom feels like she's been asleep for the dude we better remember good morning Paimon uh, my good head morning, hurts Paimon Tell me you remember. Paimon thinks it was after the Thank God. Festival. Okay. The Sub-Zero's Festival! Yes. Have we finally escaped from the Sub-Zero's 
Oh, no, I remember now. Oh my gosh, hello. Quick, take off your Akasha terminal. We should probably do that instantly. Uh, at the end of the dance of the Sub Zeros, uh, I think I saw. Quickly, let's go see Dunyazard. Yeah, the Akasha can wait. Like, just throw it off. Just okay, over there now. Ouch. She's not in her room. What happened? To the usual spot. Ah, uh, yes. Huh? What usual spot? Yeah, the, the spot. Pymon. The spot, Paimon. The one we keep going to. Off we go! Zoom! Actually, which spot? There's like that several spot. spots. Oh, I'll oh, flip this spot. Okay. Ah, wait, ah. she's alive! Ah. What the flip, Catherine? Catherine? Huh? Well done, Traveler and Paimon. What? No, oh, wait. Wait, you're gonna get. Wait, does this mean you're gonna get stabbed in the next patch? Oh, flip. And thank you, Dunyarzad, for organizing the sub Festival for me. Wait, why do you look... Why are my eyes super red? Is that always my uh, eye color? Over there, it's different. It's just a little more saturated for us right now. Oh, on the television? So, okay. because Catherine's a robot... She's taking she over? can use her... To, to have a body. All right. Cool. 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 I'm sorry, who are... How are you alive? I thought you were dead. How the oh, flip? I don't care. Like I don't care. I don't need an explanation. It doesn't need to make sense. I'm just happy. Don't need to give us an emotional shotgun to the chest and be like, <laughs> here's a napkin. It's fine. I'll, I will Wipe use that. Na I'm going to use the napkin. I'm fine. She's alive. Oh, a traveler, Paimon. I have something amazing to tell you. Tell us, please. I just had a dream. And I saw Nilu performing the dance of Subzerus. Sub Zerus Festival has come to an end. Is this the ending? Are you kidding me? Catherine, what the freak? Hey, so we got I a thing. I guess that will start the next part of the quest. Mm -hmm.